Welcome to Habit Maker Mama YouTube. I'm excited to bring you another episode where today we'll be talking about planning your day. If you want to become a more productive, a more organized person, then you might get into the habit of planning your day. So be very intentional about the location as well as the time or event that helps you build your habit. Treat yourself to fun rewards so that you can encourage your habit. Fun pens, stickers, bookmarks, all of the little extras that come with planning. This is all part of the habit making journey. Half of this is really just deciding, is this a habit that matters to me and do I want to keep this habit? I want to be a more productive and organized person. That brings me happiness. So I'm going to consider adding planning into my day. Of course, mom life always gets a little bit difficult when you've got kids distracting you from writing down and doing something. So I personally try to plan my day when I don't have that distraction because otherwise I know it's just not going to get accomplished. Start small to build bigger habits later. Don't forget, our newsletter is a one-stop shop for all of these tips. I get it, you are busy. You do not have time to be reading through this and that and looking up this and that. That's why I put it all in one spot for you, the newsletter. Newsletter is where you can get all of it packaged in one nice, neat little place so that I can save you some time with your habit making. Hello and welcome to another episode of Habit Maker Mama YouTube. I'm so happy that you're here today because we are gonna talk all about how to plan your day. This always helps me feel a little bit more prepared for the start of the day, even if it doesn't go according to plan at all. I just feel a little bit better about having a few action items on my list that I can conquer for the day. An important part of habit making is thinking about what identity, what type of person uses the habit that you are trying to make. So if you want to become a more productive, a more a more productive, a more organized person, then you might get into the habit of planning your day. It's kind of interesting to me. When I was in high school, when I was in undergrad, when I was in graduate school, I always kept a planner. I was so detailed about writing down every single thing and it really helped me stay on task, focused, organized, productive. But once I became a mom, that was far from what I needed to be working on. I was worried about 2 a.m. diaper changes and nursings, and that just was not a priority for me. But as I kind of started to progress into being able to focus a little bit more on what me, what was making me happy at the beginning of the day, that involved setting some organized tasks and lists to start my day. Come on, check it out with me. All right, let's talk about how to build this habit. So the first thing is that you need to set an intentional plan with how you're going to go about incorporating this into your day. To start with an I will statement. So I will plan my day at 6.30 in the morning after I've showered and I'm ready to sit down. So at 6.30 in the morning, I sit down, it's quiet for me, and I open up my planner to where it's time to fill it. As a mom, I like to have a plan to my day because it helps me feel like my, my brain is on straight before I'm ready to jump in with all of the, my kid activities. Today we're working on the third of our pillars, which is productivity. If you can remember, we've talked about mindset, physical health, community, and productivity as being the four pillars that matter to us. I like to set an intention to my day and part of that involves using the four pillars. As we've talked about earlier in some of our series, we have four pillars for how to have the best day possible. Are you going to get all four pillars in your day? Maybe not, but it's always nice to try and see what you can do. So what I do when I plan my day is I write down each of the pillars, productivity, physical health, mindset, and community. Then under each pillar, I try to put one habit that I'm focusing on. This habit tends to stay consistent for an entire month so that I can track and see how I'm doing with that habit. So for example, I would put physical health and then I would write work out for five minutes or I'd write drink 72 ounces of water during the day. This just helps me bring focus to that particular habit and pay attention to it. 
I don't always anticipate that every pillar is going to be accomplished, but if I have some thought about them, it just helps me think, ah, my day could be amazing if I could check off all of these things. Then in another column, I just include a brain dump of all of the things that I need to be thinking about for the day. My particular planner is organized in time and then also has a blank notes section at the bottom. So this is how I stay organized mentally. I usually don't keep to my plan. It usually goes haywire because that's just how mom life can be. But I like to help plan it to bring some attention to what I'm going to be doing for the day. And even if I can only get to one of these things, it's still gonna be a great day. With any habit, make sure that you start small. Don't try to record 100 tasks in your planner right from the start because you'll probably end up feeling a little overwhelmed. It's going to take you a while to write all of that down and you'll abandon your habit pretty quickly. So instead, we're going to work on a building process. So when you set your intentional plan, I will plan at 6.30 in the morning or I will plan after I shower, then you're going to practice doing that same exact step and then just writing one task in your planner. So for example, after I shower, I sit down and I write, today I will drink 72 ounces of water. Or even simpler, today I need to eat breakfast. Just something on your to-do list that you want to have recorded and check off. Start small to build bigger habits later. When you're writing something in your planner, as we discussed earlier about being essentialist, to not clutter your brain and your planner, write down what is most essential for you to accomplish that day. So let's say you have, you know, maybe 50 tasks that you would like to get done. Just write down the number one most important thing for you to do that day. That way at the end of the day, when you check it off, you'll feel great about having done your top priority. Make sure that you plan what is most essential for you. Treat yourself to fun rewards so that you can encourage your habit. So, I like to have some special pen that I use only for planning. Bright colors make it a little bit more fun in my planner. I also like to use some fun stickers and a bookmark to help my planner have it. Again, remember that this is all just for fun and you do not need this to help your habit, but it can be a nice little reward that tells your brain to keep working on this habit. If you're wondering what planner should I use, here's where I'd start. I like the Simplified Planner by Emily Lay. If you aren't quite feeling the reward of pens and stickers, think about the psychological reward of having your planning habit. Do you feel more productive when you've done this? Do you feel more organized? Does it help you just feel better about starting your day? Remember, you're rewarding yourself. This is a way to help yourself feel better at the start of your day. This is giving you some special, well-deserved time to say, hey, I spent a couple minutes cleaning my day and I feel more organized because of it. If you're on Instagram, head over to at HabitMakerMama so that you can stay up to date on our daily tips. I offer her some stories and a little bit of insight into how I'm working on my habits. And I also like to get feedback from you on what you're doing too. My joy to keep us all connected in our habit making. Did you know caffeine affects the activity of dopamine? Dopamine increases the feeling of pleasure. If you drink a cup of coffee while you plan, you might be able to build a brain pathway that associates planning and pleasure. This is another way to build your reward. You can try drinking a cup of coffee for one week while you plan. An important factor of habit building is really creating some consistency in the habit that you're making. So keep doing the same exact routine over and over for at least two weeks. Again, there's no association between time and habit making. It's just how many times you do it, but give yourself some solid, solid repetition so that you can see if this particular routine works well for you. Then after that, decide, is this working? Is this not working? And then make a very small change. So you can say, well, maybe I need to write a less, less things down. Maybe I need to try a different report. Just try some small changes and then you can see how that working, how that's working. This is all a process of collecting some data by trying on different habits and changing different parts of your habit to determine if this is working well for you. 
ultimately, ultimately, this leads to the full decision of, do I like this habit? Does it bring me joy to start my day? Is this something that I want to keep doing and keep working on? Or am I ready to toss this one out? We're combining the idea of essentialism and, and keeping what is essential to you. Albert Einstein, who's a pretty famous guy, did say that the, defini the definition of madness is trying the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Remember, if you want to try and create some change and expect some new results, you have to try something different. That's the whole process of experimenting. It's important to create an environment that fosters your habit. So go ahead and lay your planner down on a nice hard surface with a comfortable chair. Choose a place where writing feels inviting. Of course, mom life always gets a little bit difficult when you've got kids distracting you from writing down and doing something. So I personally try to plan my day when I don't have that distraction because otherwise I know it's just not going to get accomplished. Thank you for watching today's episode of Have It Make Your Mama YouTube. I had so much fun talking to you about how I plan my day and how that brings me some joy in the morning to plan. I really consider making this a habit if you are trying to become more productive and more organized. Also, this is all part of the habit making journey. Half of this is really just deciding, is this a habit that matters to me and do I want to keep this habit? Once you've tried it and given it a shot, decide, yes, I love it or no, this does not bring me value and I'm going to leave this one aside. That's okay. That's the whole point. We're trying to make our lives better by finding what matters most. As you can tell, I have a special guest star with us today. If you want to create change and you want to see results, you have to actually 